these uh, uh, banks are actually dropping out of the lending market so that they can aid in helping the dollar fall even faster. Exactly. Um, it's all planned. Let me comment on on the other side, and we'll go to all the other callers. Stay with us. PrisonPlanet.tv, streaming live video. On the front lines of the info war. By the way, I looked up uh, Corpus Christi, Texas, and they do have corporal punishment in their uh, high schools and junior highs paddling the students without parental consent. But if you lightly spank your child there, they will put you in prison. And that's in the news. Linked up at the Drudge Report today, if you want to see that CBS News report. That's how dumb they think you are. We're going to put you in jail or put you on probation for something that isn't illegal, something we do. Because we're the government, you're the extremist, you're the criminal, you're the scum. You're here to suck the boots of the government. Not lick them, but suck them. Get down on your knees, grovel and beg. Who makes the sun shine? The government. I want to go back to your calls and give each caller about a minute because I'm just out of time here and I apologize for that, but you know how I am. Um, he mentioned how the mainstream media tries to divert you. Yeah, they don't just lie or spin, and they're not so mainstream anymore. They're falling apart, which is why they're coming in with all this new censorship on talk radio and the Internet, because they're desperate. But they lie by omission and by throwing petty diversionary issues at you. So you're absolutely right, Frank, to answer your question. You've already answered it. Uh, Chris in Connecticut, you're on the air. Welcome. Hey, Alex. Uh, great to talk to you. Um, first of all, I want to commend you and the crew on uh, your coverage of Bilderberg and the upcoming October kinetic action in uh, Libya. Just amazing stuff that you can't find anywhere else uh, other than Infowars.com. So, first of all, amazing stuff. And uh, Thank you, Chris. Thank you. We're all in this together, brother. I indeed. And, uh, look, you know, I've been listening to you for about the last uh, year and a half, uh, and I've been able to wake up maybe about a dozen friends and family members over the last year kind of just teasing out of them, like, you know, that everybody has a sense that things are not going well uh, in this country, things are uh, heading downhill yeah, fast. Yeah, we got a case of tyranny. Exactly. And so uh, what I wanted to ask you, uh, just to, I, I know we all have a minute, uh, Paul Joseph Watson on Friday said that the focus of the resistance should no longer be trying to wake up the thumbsuckers who can't understand that things are uh, on, the down, uh, on the decline. But those of us who are awakened, uh, you need to rally us to action instead of us just like sitting behind keyboards and just uh, writing on websites and things like that. I wanted to ask you whether you had any sort of sense that you should step up and uh, go to Washington like in September or October before the kinetic action and, and call all of us to like uh, the Washington Memorial like Glenn Beck did or John Stewart. Uh, man, you'd, you'd pull 500,000 people. Uh, and, well, look, uh, stuff you know, like that's a great idea, and I heard Paul live when he talked about that, he was talking about folks that criticize other patriots and say we're doomed. That's different. It's great to get the word out. The keyboard's a great way to reach people in cyberspace. That's our most effective tool. He was talking about pessimist. Uh, but yes, for people that are awake, now is the time to reach out to others. So I think the way you interpreted that, I, I'm not disagreeing with your interpretation, but I, uh, it's not exactly what, what Paul was saying. I appreciate it. Um, let me tell you something. We've got YouTube openly censoring our videos. They've sent us a letter. We have a copy of it saying that we showed Obama as a joker and that that's considered racist and that our account now has a strike against it, 160 million views. That's bigger than any of the news agencies on YouTube. Check it out. ABC News doesn't have that many. It's like 50 million. Uh, and they treat us like garbage. We have no respect. And that's just one of our channels. We have over 300 million. And they said that we're now being looked at for racism and that the site will probably be shut down. You are not allowed to talk bad about Obama or, or defile him, our Lord and Savior. Uh, and so, uh, again, I'm reaching hundreds of millions of people through cyberspace. I do have demonstrations. Things like that are great, but they can ignore demonstrations. Uh, and, again, it's about you being a leader. Let's move quickly. Uh, Frank in California. Go ahead, Frank. Alex, you're doing a great job. Um, I just want to say a few things. Um I know you doubt the whole 2012 thing, but uh, you have to admit, with the whole banking thing collapsing, it, 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 uh, no, no, it's more sophisticated. I, I just, I, I've read the Mayan prophecies. A, I don't, I'm not, a, I don't believe that sorcery stuff. B, I know the Mayan prophecy just says a new age begins, not the end of the world. The globalists are occultists, and they've used this 
for non-Christians. They tell Christians it's the end of the world. Jesus is coming, so they lay down. They tell non-Christians, kind of atheists and agnostics, oh, it's the end of the world, the Mayans said. For some reason, they buy it. It's a fake, self-fulfilling prophecy to make you think all is lost. The globalists do plan by 2012 with their own documents to have open world government and all Hades to broke, uh, break loose. So I agree with you, sir. Yeah, well, the, the thing is, too, I remember when Lindsey Williams, you had him on the show, he said that two weeks after the euro collapses, that the dollar would be next. So, yes. Yeah, I, it, it just, it seems like it's it's going to be sooner. So, I, I don't know. It's, it's scary. It's just really... Uh, don't be an extremist, Frank. I appreciate your call. Don't worry about things. The government's taking care of it all. They're good people. Man, what's wrong with you? Uh, Adam in New York, you're on the air, extremist. Welcome. Yeah, hi, Alex. Uh, I just wanted to get your take on uh, Israel's role in the grand chessboard. Well, that, again, the problem is all these questions are so sophisticated. I mean, they sound simple, but they're sophisticated. Israel is a key outpost of the Anglo-American establishment. It's meant as the you know, claim that there's real estate there by a group that isn't Arab so that conflict can be carried out by all sides against each other, and it's all part of the balkanization situation. That, I mean, does that mean that I'm saying all the Israelis are bad? No, I'm not saying the Libyans are bad. It's, again, full-spectrum dominance where the globalists create atmospheres politically where conflict can be created that can't be resolved because they don't want the conflict to be resolved. The conflict is the pretext for the greater control. Well, I, I appreciate that, and uh, great job, Alex. Thank you so much, sir. And again, I'm not doing a great job, folks. I have no future if we don't beat these people. Neither do you, and I appreciate the kind words, but I don't deserve it. I'm an example of what one motivated person can do when others join with them and support them. You want to thank me, spread the word about the broadcast so this isn't done in vain. We're having a huge effect. I'm under full surveillance, all sorts of hit pieces. But we have a lot of people in government and corporate America and worldwide that are good people. And in the struggle against light and darkness, they have privately chosen to serve light. The next step is serving it openly. Karen in Arizona, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hi, Alex. I do spread a word about your uh, websites. And another thing I want to thank you for is about the smart meter because uh, APS is installing smart meters without... Uh, and, no, they're going uh, in nationwide, and yeah, Apple right. will control what you can videotape on your own phone you buy. They don't get the concept of ownership. Smart meters going in nationwide to control your thermostat. First they denied it, now they admit it. Total control. Uh, Tom Tom's tracking you with the police. It's all illegal, but they're just doing it. They're okay. criminal. They admitted uh, that uh, they want to do a rate increase, and it's the rate increase is also to pay for the smart meter. Yeah, and the studies show once the smart meter's in, oop, the rates go up because they are going to absolutely screw us from every angle, Karen. That's right, and I tr I'm educating the people, and uh, I also tell them the people uh, the, the health effects side effects of the smart meter uh, totally proven it uses a wireless system just like a cell phone and and we, and we can't see that digital spectrum but we're in a blast furnace of electronic pollution i appreciate your call karen josh tony sean ty rick jake there's no way to get to all of you but i'll be back live tomorrow 11 a.m to 2 p.m central time and if you call in you tell them put you to the head of the line i'll get to you i really want to hear from you and i'm sorry i didn't get to more of you. Let me just say this on the whole digital electronics tech front. If you go to a trilateral commission meeting and cover it, or Bilderberg or any of it, the biggest group represented are the heads of the tech companies. And they all put out public policy papers admitting you have a breakaway civilization or an attempt by the military industrial complex under the guise of national security to establish high tech systems behind closed doors, outside of public scrutiny. Genetic engineering, super weapons, all of it. And so they're attempting to form a breakaway civilization. Under the guise of carbon taxes, they want to bring in a new dark age to block the general public and companies that aren't insiders' development, like with the coal plants and the government insurance and all the rest of it. The insiders are exempt from it all. So it's a new type of royalty, corporate royalty where they own your politicians, and any technology they give you, 
iPhones, droids, wireless, uh, smart cards, all of it, you pay for it, and then you pay for the Trojan horse systems of surveillance. You order a pizza, wired into the government. You use a GPS, it's live time into AI computers tracking everything. They have maps of everywhere you've gone, everything you've done. The threat fusion centers are federalization spy bases to spy on people. They fuse all the data. They slowly are bringing the cops in and finding out who will go along with it and then showing them the technology. This is a serious takeover. And here's what I'll leave you with, because it's in all their documents and in a new video we just put out, the elite's plan for global extermination at PrisonPlanet.tv. The end game, once this grid's in place, is to exterminate at least 80% of us.